everybody. No, Welcome it's... back to, this is our second video out here at beautiful La Salette Shrine. And we've got some workout for you today. You can do it outside or you can do it inside. If you happen to have a scarf or maybe a broomstick that's just laying around, go ahead, take hold of it and just stretch it up overhead as far as you can. Maybe it's here, maybe it's not but just to your chest level and is even doing it with nothing so whatever you happen to have around let's just do five more like that you remember this from doing it at the y with us this is a nice stretch for your shoulders for your chest go ahead and stretch overhead and this is great for a posture reset too we want to make sure that our posture is nice and tall. I don't know. I wasn't counting, Anna. I, 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 oh, I don't you guys know. are going Anna, to the like limit done. here. One more. <laughs> All right. We're done. Okay. Let's go ahead and try to do a few balance exercises. You can grab onto a chair, grab onto your counter in the kitchen or a wall, whatever you have handy. Feet right under your hips. Go ahead lift up one leg and hold it now if you're feeling frisky see if you can Woo! do it without holding on it is okay if you can't you need to tap down and then bring your foot up again you can let's hold it for five seconds ready five four three two and one and let's go ahead and rotate to the other side pick up that other leg Hold it. Try and balance on your own if you can. Five more seconds. Count, count loud with me. Five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. Awesome. Now another balance exercise, which you will remember also when we're together at the Y. Go ahead, feet right under hips opposite hand opposite leg so keep the uh the leg that's closest to the wall you want to pick it up and just like a little uh little dip down it stretches my hamstrings too mm. yeah it does now if lifting your leg up is too much you could always keep the toe down and just hinge right from the hips Let's do three more. Three, two, and one more. Awesome. Go ahead, flip it around. Pick up that, that leg. Dip down. Give me three more. Three, two, and one more. All right. Why don't we go around? You want to do some push ups? Who uh, doesn't who love does? push ups? Let's Woo! do some push ups. All right. We're going to move around to our bench. And these benches do a great job of social distancing. <laughs> don't want to get too close. Pick a bench, any bench. Again, you can do this on a wall, at home, if on your counter, in the kitchen, in the bathroom. Your hands right underneath your shoulders, and you're just gonna come down and up. Really squeeze your chest together when you're pushing up and out. If you want a little bit of an extra challenge and you're on the wall, I don't know if I can do this on oh the bench. Boy. Do it, girl. You can do it. Couple of claps. Woo! Woohoo! Do a thumbs up. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Let's do five more, Anna. What do you All think? All right. One, two, three. Four and five. five. Nice. All right. You want to 
do some uh, should we, squats. Should we squat? Let's squat. All right, wide feet. Make sure that that you have something to catch you if you fall. So chair or bed. All right, squat down, sit it back, and coming back up. So you have the option of sitting all the way down and coming back up, or coming close and then coming back up. Keep going. Get those legs moving. You can do this while you watch TV. Every commercial, <laughs> do some squats. It might limit your TV size so if you have to do that. All right, let's do five more. All right. Ready? Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right. Well, should we lift our body up? Let's, that sounds good. Do let's it. try that. So if you're sitting in a chair, it should be firmer. It's going to be a little hard to do if you're on a couch. You're going to sit right here. And what you're going to do is you're going to lift your body weight up and then down. So you're going to keep your feet on the ground. You're just pushing your body weight up a little bit and down. Even if your glutes aren't coming up all the way, you should still feel those arms working. Even if it's not coming up all the way. Push up. I'm going to just and zoom down. in here so they can see. So you're pushing their body up and then down. It's okay if your butt's not getting all the way up and then down. Nice. It's great if you squeeze those biceps Ooh. and triceps. Yeah. You can feel all, all your arms working. All right, let's do five more. Ready? Five. Nice. Four. Three. Two. And one. Nice. Awesome. Why don't we finish off this video with a little brain teaser? Oh, what do you boy. Think? Is your brain awake today? This is something you can do at any time. Go ahead, make two fists, bring them out nice and long in front of you. Your right hand, extend your pinky, bring it back in. Extend your right thumb up, bring it back down. Now, the other hand, extend your pinky, bring it in. Left thumb up. Bring it down. Okay, this is where it's going to get tricky. Oh boy. Right thumb, left pinky. Bring it in. Left thumb, right pinky. Nice. Bring it in. Let's try that. Nice and slow. Don't rush it. Think about what you're doing and do opposite thumb and opposite pinky. Let's do five more. Five, four, three, two, one. It's a little trickier than you think. You guys have a fantastic day. We miss you and we will see you soon. Bye. Can you see us? Because mm -mm. I've got it the wrong way. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> My hand.